Good day, McVeigh, and happy Wednesday. Good morning, boys and girls. Please stand to honor our flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Boys and girls, you may be seated. Okay, let's get to our birthday list for today. First, let me say happy birthday, very special happy birthday yesterday to James Baez in our first grade and Saba Igwe in our kindergarten, also Owen Zhang in our first grade. So I read the wrong birthdays. My apologies. I'm so sorry. And happy birthday today to Montserrat Tercios Herrera in our fourth grade. So Montserrat, you got two days. And to our other friends, happy belated birthday. So when you say something late, we call that belated. Be late. It, it happened in the past. It was late. So I was being late. So I was belated. All right. We learned a new word. All right, lunch for today, friends, is cheeseburger or hamburger. We have chicken Caesar salad. We also have our grilled cheese and bagel lunch. All right, now a couple of things. What would happen if you combined a folder with a phone? Has anybody figured out what that would look like? What that could do? What would that look like? What could it do? Somebody came up with something. Did anybody else? All right, now let's get to our Wordle. I got some answers to this. Now, this is an I. It's in the third position. And our clue was kids at McVeigh. All right, I'm going to give you a clue here. These two letters are a consonant blend. Hmm, a consonant blend. And my word means to show lots and lots of hard work, no matter what. It's always keep trying and never give up. Consonant blend. So that should tell you a little bit about the sound that this letter is going to make. Let's see. And now, our mystery number. Dun, dun, dun. All right. So, my first clue was this number has an odd number of letters. My second clue was this number has a silent letter. My third clue is this number is an even number. All right. Each clue should have helped you eliminate options. Let's see. Okay. Now, today's Get Smart project is by Arjun in our third grade. Arjun uh, did a, a project, and he did it on post-it notes. It's kind of like a little post-it book. Uh, and he did it on some things in our universe that we might uh, not know otherwise. So we all learn a little bit about our solar system and the planets. Okay, Arjun did a little project on the life cycle of a star. So we look up at night, we see stars in the sky, and uh, if we lived a million years from now, we might look up and see different stars because stars go through something called a life cycle, like the sun, for example. If you were an astronomer and you studied the planets or the stars, you might find out that the sun is expected to burn the same way it is now for another four to five million years. That's a long time, but then it's going to go through a phase and it's going to look different. 
So that's what R.D. wrote about. He also wrote about the number of galaxies in our universe, which right now they think, they're not for sure on this, about 170 billion, 170 billion galaxies. Can anybody write down that number? What does 170 look like if you were to write the number for it? Okay, and now it's time for our mighty kind moment of the day. Let's get our drum roll. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, so these are coming from Camilla and from Matteo Lucena. Yep, each one of them submitted something, and I love them both. This one is from Camilla. She says, you rock, and yes, you do. And this one is from Matteo. Um, it's an explosion of kindness at McVeigh. You rock. Now, I kind of put these together because when um, a volcano erupts, uh, the lava uh, eventually turns into uh, molten rock. And you rock. Right? So, uh, again, an explosion of kindness means that everybody is involved in kindness. And everybody rocks. So, perfect. So glad that uh, the brother and sister duo submitted something so I could honor them together. And you rock. Why? Because you're a mighty mind. Not only that, a mighty kind, mighty mind. And every day, boys and girls, it's a great day to get smart and be kind to both each other and the earth. Let's have a wonderful day.